Hi guys, thank you so much for watching me today. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and today I'm here with the beautiful, his name is pronounced Urosh Tux. He lives in um, Europe and he is my guest today. If any of you watching today's show, you think, wow, I'd like to be a, a guest on Linda's Paranormal YouTube channel, please contact me. My email is below and we can certainly go further from there if you want to be a guest on my channel. But today it's all about Urosh. Urash has got a lot of experiences to share with us today. So thank you so much, Urash, for being a guest on my show today. And let's see how it goes today. Yeah. First of all, Linda, thank you for hosting me. This is really like a, a pleasure. And it was really shock for me when you invited me. I said, yeah, of course, we need to do that, you know. And <laughs> so, yeah, I, I was actually waiting when this will start, when this will start, because it would be like, yeah, it has to go that way, you know, uh, because both of us know that uh, people need to hear this. And yeah, right now we are doing this. Absolutely. And people do need to hear our stories. So then they too can then get that belief system started that this all is real and it's something that they can get capable of as well. So let's start at the beginning with you, Urosh. How young were you when you started knowing that you had abilities? Actually, uh, I remember like one situation that was been like in my middle school. It, I was been like maybe 15, 16. Uh, I was standing on the, on the pedestrian, you know, uh, and I was like facing one side and I was like, when I will turn, I, the car will be here. That the cars are not away, like not allowed to go to the pedestrian, but because they can deliver something to the stores, you know, they can like maybe one in one hour can go there, you know. I said, when I will turn, I can feel that there will be car next to me, you know. And when I turned, it was like two centimeters from my legs was with car. I was like, and like the driver was like, can you move? I was like, I move, <laughs> you came here to hit me or whatever, you know. And I was like, damn, I have really like good intuition, you know. And then I remember like approximately maybe the same ages, my father came home and he's like, who can guess who has been, uh, who came to my office today? You know, uh, I give him some kind of financial price, you know, and I shoot one name, you know, and then all my other family, like my brother, my mother, all were shooting, 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 you know, and then like after 15 minutes, my father like, Uda, she were right. And I was like, oh, really? You know? <laughs> and then I actually forget about this, you know, like I start doing other stuff, you know, and then actually my abilities, these three abilities about healing, about uh, seeing future, about uh, seeing past lives, uh, about seeing past things, you know, came when I went, actually broke up with one girl. And then one of my friends suggested me go to this lady, she will help you, you know, and actually this lady helped me to clean on my cell level. And then like in the middle of the session, she's like, do you feel anything? And I said, yeah, I can feel here something is happening. She's like, that's great. I said, explain what's great. You know? And she's like, yeah, you will be a clairvoyant. I was like, okay, <laughs> you know? And I didn't know how I will use this. I didn't know how I get this, nothing, you know? And then I need like two years to figure out how I can do these predictions, how I can see stuff, you know? And then after two years, I find like, okay, when I close my eyes, I ask my guides, when my eye starts to move, then I'm receiving answers. So when I open eyes, then I just disconnect with my guides and then I can deliver message, you know? Ooh. And then, uh, yeah, this was really like weird, you know, because I was playing, you know, I was playing around. I was, I know, I went to the bed and I closed my eyes. I started to ask something and then my eyes starts to move. I was like, what's happening, you know? And then I was, oh, okay. I'm getting answers, I'm getting answers now. And of course, I didn't be like, okay, is this really true or not, you know? So I need some kind of, like, like some kind of confirmation, you know? Yeah. And I was testing. I went I went to the store, there's been my, my friend, and then this friend friend came, and she's like, yeah, I can, I said, I have this ability. I said, I want to test. And she's like, okay, tell me what kind of, what kind of relationship I have with my sister. Uh, I closed my eyes, and I got like this terrible, you know, like this really strong terrible. I was like, and I was like, I started to pack this, yeah, uh, you don't, you don't speak right now. You have some problems, you know, like I didn't go, I didn't want to go straight, you know? And she's like, yeah, we have terrible uh, <laughs> relationship. I was like, <gasps> like when I got this information, terrible, oh, okay, good. You know, so it is something that I have, you know? And then she asked me, yeah, what kind of, what kind of future partner you see, you know? 
And then a lot of people start to come to this store. I said, okay, I have to remove myself. I went to the to the toilet. I sit on the toilet. I, I close my eyes and start to receive messages, you know. And at the end, I got this message, Ford, you know. I said, okay, I go tell her all these details. And she's like, oh, yeah, I have dreamed that I will be with this, my like guy that I'm dancing. And uh, she's like, what about Ford? I said, I don't know what Ford means, you know. And she left. She came back and she's like, it's Ford Fiesta, you know, because she shouldn't be like in cars. I said, yes, of course. She's like, yeah, he's driving Ford Fiesta. I said, wow. yeah, obviously, <laughs> you know, yeah. this would be like pure confirmation. You know? And then the strongest confirmation that I got actually happened with my fiance. We met on 2nd of March, 2015, you know, and I took her from our capital city to where I live, you know, and I told her what I have. Uh, it was really funny because she said later, she said, you know what? I always think I, I always thought I experienced everything, you know. And then she said, and then I met you. <laughs> so then she realized that she didn't experience nothing, you know. Yeah. And she asked me, okay, when do you see that my ex boyfriend will contact me? You know, I said, okay, I need to stop somewhere that I will be able to ask, you know. And we I we stop in this red light. I close my eyes and I got two years, you know. I said, Tamara in two years. Okay, this was been finished, you know, and then of course uh, we start to we never actually date, you know. And six weeks later we become a couple. Right now we have already three kids, you know. After these eight years, you know, yeah. And then on the second of March two thousand seventeen, exactly after two years, he texted her a message: "Hello, how are you?" And wow. we were like, "Which day is today? Second of March." Then we met second of March. Exactly after two years, and I, I I checked like on the watch. I said, okay, I told you this like approximately at uh, like maybe one fifteen, and actually he texted her like one one fifteen. You know, it was like wow. exact time. Exact time. We, we were yeah, we were really so excited. And then she said, you have to start m making money out of this. <laughs> and this was like <laughs> my beginning of doing this for real. You know, because before it was really like, okay, I have this ability, but I know how good I am. You know, and things like that. And later I just got these confirmations, confirmations, confirmations. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. And of course, people say, yeah, it didn't happen as you see. And I said, listen, especially there are two parties, really hard, you know. And if I tell you something, like my my easiest way to explain how things will happen is when I give you a prediction, forget and remember what I, I told you, you know, what this means. So in this case with my fiance, actually we totally forget what I told her, you know. And she didn't even ask me in next, so in these two years, she never asked me when to see if he will reach out or not. Yeah. She just put this, okay, he'll reach out and that's it. And actually, when we forget, and then when it happened, then we remembered, okay, it happened that way. You know, so this is the easiest way. But sometimes when people say, listen, this and this will happen, and they're like, okay, this has to happen, this has to happen, this has to happen. Yes. Of course, this is not happening because they have too big expectation, you know leave expectations and it will happen and all so when we talk about psychic abilities because you've mentioned that you've done um you do future events you could be in a healer you do past lives etc so let's just start with psychic abilities what's your best advice to anyone else who thinks that they could be a psychic because we all are right but yeah. they want to start getting into doing psychic abilities. What would be your advice there? My advice would be like, uh, start play with yourself and to see, uh, like, it's like, like a game, you know, try to predict something, you know, say, okay, this will happen, you know, maybe, okay, this girl or this boy will reach out to me or, uh, I don't know, I, I suggest people, Go to the like the shopping mall, sit like where, where where you can see like entrance, and then say, okay, the next uh, next fifteen people will be like this and this, you know, maybe the next fifteen people will be like five girls and ten boys, and then see if this will happen, you know, that kind of stuff. Or next person, maybe if there is not so much traffic, okay, next person will wear a black hat, you know, like yeah. that. You starts to play games with you, that you starts to test yourself, and when you get this instant yeah. result then you know that you're good you know this is right. like the easiest way to, yeah. to to see to see if you have abilities or you're just maybe trying to guess something you know 
that's fantastic advice, you know, because a lot of people are scared coming into learning what their spirituality or their psychic abilities are. And it is, it, you, we've got to make it a game to learn. Yeah. So we practice using examples like you just said. So yeah. now let's start talking about how you got into healing. When did you first, how old were you? And when did that first start happening for you when you started healing things? Actually, so when I got this ability about uh, clairvoyant, I also felt that like this healing stuff came to me, you know, and I, I just start uh, like doing this, that I sit down, uh, especially when I, I do most of healings, I do long distance, you know, that I just close my eyes. And when I focused, I said, please, dear God, send like white light and uh, gold light and uh, yellow light so light for love for healing and for positive energy you know and i start to feel like really like like some kind of fire in my hands you know then i start to know okay it is happening you know also i i do these healings on the in in person you know and i remember i said to to auntie of my fiance she she had some problems with her back you know i said okay i can do a healing for you that you will see you know and i was like I, I so i was being like maybe 20 centimeters from her body you know i, I was doing healing the like really like and she said at the end yeah you were touching me i said i never touch you <laughs> she's like yeah i felt that you were touching me and that you're massaging me i said no i didn't you know uh so yeah actually and then i started to see okay it is working it is working you know and uh, once i had really like this experience like really i would say that sh shocked me in a positive way you know because i was working in one like internet page where all these psychics was been there and uh, so we were doing like that uh, i was sitting in front of the camera people came to your room uh, chatting with you you know and then if people wanted to have like private session they just took you private and then you was been busy you know and then uh, i was when people come to my room i was usually give them some kind of like messages you know like uh, yeah you will get money in 10 days twice you know stuff like that you know and then came one girl and i said i can see traveling for the next 14 days and i and she said, yeah, I have cancer in the last stage. And my, my like, doctors told me that I have, like, maybe a top one month uh, that I will leave. So my next traveling will be on the on the funeral, you know, like, on the graveyard. I was like, holy, <laughs> I will not continue, yeah. you know? And I said, yeah. listen, girl, I want, I want to help you. I will do healing for you. Actually, she had, like, tumor in her head, I think, something like that, you know? Yeah. But it was really big, and I went to this uh, I started to do healing for her, like in the morning, you know, uh, like five, ten minutes. And then we were talking, and she's like, Can I ask you something? She said, I said, Yes. And she said, Can you do me another one? I said, Yes, of course, you know. And I did another one, like in really, like short time, second. Okay. And then I went to sleep. Next day, she always she also came. I do again, you know. And I said, Listen, my goal is that you will come back to me in six months and you will tell me that you're okay you know uh like i'm doing this like maybe one week two weeks and then now think you know this was been like in march in september time she entered my room and she's like i don't know if you remember me uh i said of course i remember you know because you are the only one who i did healings you know <laughs> and she's like yeah i have good news and bad news you know i said okay first good news and she said this first tumor shrinked 93 percent Wow. So only seven percent. So only seven percent left. I said that's amazing, and she said, "Yeah, bad news is that next this tumor right now is growing new one." I said, "F word, you know," and I said, "No, okay, I will do healing for you, you know." And I actually attacked this second one, and of course I healed this first one also, you know. And then like fourteen days later, she came back and she's like. Doctors do not know what happened because there is no second tumor more. Wow. <laughs> and the first the first one is shrinked additional 2%, you know. I said, okay, I'm done, <laughs> you know. And this was really wow. like some kind of confirmation for me. But all this happened it is. when... You know, the biggest confirmation is when we get the doctor's report saying that what we've done has um, diminished or taken away whatever illness or injury that person had. And yeah. what a great confirmation that is for you, Urosh. You know, that is amazing. So do you yeah. still do healings now with people? I, st I still do. Uh, and actually, I start to test. I want to go, like, I went to the, like, higher level, you know. Uh, one I have one client. She's from Canada. And she had these three, like, uh, so she has a husband, but she has a pair with her uh, boss, you know. And her boss can be really, like, uh, 
bad guy and all, <laughs> and they have they, they have a like like tense relationship. And then uh, she said, "Listen, try to fix this, you know." And actually, I fix, I start to fix, I start to heal this relationship, you know. And once they have really like rough, you know, she's like, "Yeah, he's yelling, blah blah blah." I said, "Okay." I went to my meditation and started to do healing. And she's like, come back like in five minutes. I don't know what you did, but he's totally different. He's so nice. He's like, I said, wow. yeah, obviously it worked, you know. So I want to test like different healings, not just like this Absolutely. physical things, you know. Yes. But like healing on like finance, healing on this. And I'm getting like feedbacks. Yeah, it worked. It worked. It worked. I said, okay, that's amazing. You know, so yeah, I'm still doing this, but it's like, you know, uh, people have to ask me for this i don't know i don't want to force yeah listen i can do this i can uh, i will fix you i will do this no if you need yes. me let me know then i will then i will do this healing for you or whatever you know it's like because people ask me also i remember this page like because i was doing messages and people like are you walking down the street and you're like yeah you will get money twice in exportness you will get a gift <laughs> i said i'm not doing this on the street you know <laughs> because people will take me to the mental hospital and all <laughs> I, I, I nearly ended up in the padded room myself a few times over the years. So I know what you're talking about there, you yeah. Oh my God. You know? <laughs> because when we awaken and we start doing all this psychic stuff, other people do see it as weird, you know? Yeah. So to those who think, oh my God, all this stuff is like weird, what would you say to those people? Uh, I would say, you know, what is weird what is normal what is crazy in our world right now you know because yeah. for me for me the more stupid stuff is the more i'm attracted you know it's like i don't know ufos yes please take me <laughs> you know or whatever you know uh but people who live in there some kind of like shell you know of course they do not believe this you know i i have People around me who do not believe on that kind of stuff, you know, and I know that I cannot speak with them on that level. But there are people, there are more and more and more people who are aware of this and start to believe, yes, it is happening. And then I said, yeah, just allow this, that uh, this is here, you know, because I got so many confirmations. I got confirmation like three minutes before we start to talk, you know, like this girl said, you was being 101% what you told me and I gave her prediction like, five days ago and she said yeah you were right what happened you know and when i get this i know it's not like some kind of my bluff that i'm saying something you know that i say yeah it's good that and then maybe it's not or it is you know but yeah people start to believe and who do not believe you don't need to believe yeah. this is your choice you know but yeah. i know in my case that it worked so why not that's you know? right so when you do your past life regression, because I've had past life regression done on me, so I believe this yeah. is real, right? I know it's real yeah. because of what I've yeah. experienced in my life. Do you think, um, one of the questions that I get asked as a near-death experiencer, people ask me, are psychic abilities predestined like something that we write into our life contracts? Do you think that we actually do put those sort of clauses into our life contracts or does everybody have the ability to be psychic? What's your uh, thoughts I will on say, that? I will, say, I will say on both, yes. First of all, definitely before we came to this world, we do, so we do some kind of story that will happen in our life. Not exactly. I will say, yeah. So let's say start from here, from Europe to Australia. No worries, you will come there, but it's up to you how you will come there. Some people will go by train and then they will swim. Some yeah. people will go to the plane. Some people will use canoe. Some people will use, uh, I don't know, different things, you know. So definitely from A to B, you come. But your destination, how you will travel, like this or like this, or maybe like this, you will camp there. If you need some kind of experiences, if your soul decided to have some kind of experience, it will have. If your soul decided that you will not have that, will not have. You know, we all, when we're born, we have psychic abilities. The problem is that parents kill, most of the time, kill kids' disabilities. 
You know, when, pe when people say, yeah, my daughter, she said that she has this uh, imaginary friend. This friend is not her ima imaginary friend. This is some kind of ghost or soul who speaks with her. Absolutely. And when you will tell her fifth time, these do not exist, your daughter or your son will just shut down this. But if you encourage her, yeah, talk with this ghost, yes. talk with this spirit, she will keep this, you know. Uh, my daughter, uh, I have two daughters and one boy, you know. And my first daughter, when she was been like two, three years old, you know, we were playing on the bed and she's like, uh, the girl is on my bed. I said, invite her. And then, of course, she just focused on our play and then she moved to her. I said, what about this uh, girl? She said, she, she left. Okay, you know. And so I, I encouraged her. And the, the most funny thing was being uh, because uh, uh, this is like my other part. Uh, so when I start to tell her some kind of uh, stories, bedtime stories, you know, about uh, one uh, one character called Fuzi Buzi, actually, like this is this book. We will yes. talk about this later. We will talk and, about and like, Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we were driving back home like two years ago, you know, and she's like, uh, Daddy, when Fuzi Buzi will be in the cinemas, you know, I actually never thought about that that kind of uh, like uh, outcome that will come. I said, okay, this is like I have few stories. Of course, later I start to think, okay, we can put this into the movie and we can record that kind of movie. No worries. But she actually saw this like when she was being five. She saw that this will come out. She just didn't. She just couldn't like because kids do not have this time perception you know she just couldn't see she said okay when this will be it will be in my lifetime or maybe later i said darling we will do that that it will be like that you know so yeah. all kids have this you know that was really funny because one one mother of child asked me something and then my youngest daughter she's four you know of course she she's like she's putting some kind of voices out you know <laughs> and so she asked me something and my youngest daughter Four months, she's like, Rrr. I said, you got your answer. <laughs> like, this will not happen, you know. I said, I don't need to answer you because my daughter already answered you, you know. So, yeah. So, what I want to tell that people are born with abilities. But then, most of them, because they do not believe in this stuff, they just shut down. Yeah. Why? Why? Because people are afraid. You of know, course. I have like one, one client, I want to have these abilities. I said... Yes, but sometimes you do not aware what kind of stuff I have to eat, what kind of shit I have to eat when I go through this stuff, you know. Yeah. Like uh, like this, when you mentioned this uh, past lives for regression, also I, I two, three times in my life happened that I need to take uh, dead people into the light, you know. And uh, so people people sometimes entered me, you know, and want to speak with someone, you know. This is how I usually do uh, mediumships, you know. Uh, but right now I decided that I will do totally different stuff, you know, and so like I was laying on the bed in two in the morning, I want to go to sleep and uh, one soul entered me, you know, like I, because I felt here like in this uh, triangle, you know, I felt that uh, somebody entered me, I said, listen, go away because I don't know who you are, who you want to give uh, like information, I just, and I have to fight with this <laughs> soul, what? you know. Okay. Go. Let me ask, I've got to stop here. When this other soul came into your body were you still consciously aware of your own body could you still move your hands etc and how did yeah, that yeah. feel knowing that other person was there with you uh just, actually, just go into more detail the, about what happened there yeah actually uh, uh i experienced this so when i felt this like hit in this uh, uh, plexus like this plexus area when i felt this hit you know then I knew that someone entering me. I was being totally aware of my body. I was being able to move everything, you know. I just knew that someone is inside of me who wants to speak with me, who wants to deliver some messages to someone, you know. So I felt like this, like, you know, it's like you feel like that someone is sitting next to you, you know. But actually this person is inside of you, you know. Uh, I was being totally aware of my body, like hands, fingers, everything was being this with mine, but I felt someone is inside of me who wants to speak with me or with someone who wants to deliver some kind of message but it was been two o'clock in the morning there has been no no one around me so i said listen go away you know so i was been totally aware to what is happening you know the weirdest thing that happened this was like my first uh mediumship actually i was drinking uh, i was being on the uh, 
yeah, like on the coffee with my friend, like in one in this bar, you know. And then I, then this friend of mine, like his mom died maybe six months earlier, and and she's like, yeah, I never say, like I never have this final conversation with her, you know. And I said, I said, like, listen, I can feel that she's here, you know. And actually, so she was standing next to me, and the, the next second I felt like this hit. And then she came into me and she starts to speak through me to him, you know. And so she gave him really a lot of information, you know. And then uh, I felt like this hit again and she left, you know. And I started to cry <laughs> because I was getting so emotional. You know? I started to cry like in the middle of the bar, you know. People like, are you okay? Are you okay? I, I said, I'm okay, you know. <laughs> when, but, when that other person spoke through you, how did you feel when that happened? Could, were you aware uh, of what they were saying? Could you hear that what they were saying, or was it, was uh, it in their yeah, voice, I, I, or was I, it your voice? That sort of it thing. It was with my voice. No, it was with my voice, definitely. But it was been like that uh, when when this person delivers messages, I usually do not remember what kind of message because it's like it's not me. It's like it's not for my ears, you know. So I I shut down myself. I don't need to hear actually. Only this person on the other side needs to hear this. So I deliver this message. I don't know what I told you, you know, because it's important for you and that's it, you know, and because uh, it's like, I don't want to be like some kind of, yeah, right now I know your secrets, you know, no, I don't need this, you know, yeah. I have enough of my shit in my life, I don't yeah. need to have yours, you know, <laughs> it's True. like that, you know, yeah. <laughs> but True. yeah, it is my voice, but uh, actually, either way that this is my voice, my voice is slightly different. Okay. slightly maybe one and, or two percent so that people know you know and when you were hearing that other soul inside you how did you hear them did you hear them in your head or your ears or was it like an external uh, voice where was that actually i would say that uh, i felt that was been like in my whole body you know not just in my mind not just in my head not just in my ears but in the whole my body i know I, actually i felt like you know like okay right now i'm i don't know let's say Tutankhamun, you know, yes. that I feel I'm here. Okay, something is strange because I don't know what is this box, you know, what is computer, what, but I felt, yeah, I'm this different person, you know, so like in back of my mind was being like, okay, yes, I'm Urush, but the control of everything is from this other person, you know, uh, yeah. but I never, well, I was like, yeah, I never had this fear. Okay, this person will never left me because I knew, okay, it's only like short time, deliver message and then you just go, you know, okay. or I start to fight with this person, you know, like as I did when I it was in two o'clock in the morning. Listen, dude, I don't know who you are, <laughs> so just leave, you know. You cannot tell me right now. There is no on the other side. There is no one who you have to deliver message, you know. Mm -hmm. If you want to deliver message to me, you can go out and say, and you just deliver this to my guides, you know, like when I will close my eyes. Mm -hmm. Who is this? Okay, I'm I don't know. I'm Dolores. I'm this and this or yes. whatever, you know, and then. But on that kind of situation, yeah, the whole body, I feel it's like, it's not mine, but it, it is mine. You know, it's like wow. this duality, you know. So, uh, yeah. so you've certainly got enough gifts. You've got a lot of different techniques out there as yeah. well, obviously acquired with your own experiences. So if yeah. people do want to contact you, um, what sort of services do you offer to people? Do you do past life regressions or Zoom calls yourself? So, uh, past life regressions, uh, so predictions for future, healings, uh, also like uh, people sometimes need, I would say, they actually do not aware, but they need some kind of like past life regression. Why is something happening with them, with correlated with other persons? You know, it's like I have this one client and she's like, why he's acting like that towards me, you know? I said, yes. I will check, you know? And then I checked and I said, listen, you already have like 10 past lives and in six lives you killed him. So obviously right now it's payback time. <laughs> so that, <laughs> okay, he, he, he will not kill you, but it's like that wow. he's being so mean to you because you killed him six times and he was being also always nice <laughs> to you, but you were like, okay, I have right now a new girlfriend, so I will go with this and I have to, eliminate this one you know stuff like that yeah. you know uh, this and is something probably, that i also offer yeah, you probably just lost half of the viewers there when you were saying six <laughs> lives ago you did this but i understand that because i understand how quantum me me mechanisms work and yeah. you know, i know that we can go into past lives and cure what happened back then 
so it doesn't affect us in our relationships and our health, etc. Now, so exactly for you to be doing so, that that is amazing. So anyone watching today, you do want to contact Euros. I have got all his in, um, information and his links in the description below. Okay, so now Euros, let's talk about your book. Why did you write the book? Books. And what? Yeah, yeah. Actually, books. <laughs> Good man, no, because books. all your links will be below. Okay. So yeah. let's talk about the one that you've got with you today. And yeah. what is it that you're trying to teach people? So, and also if they want to come and get their books, obviously I'll have your links and your PayPal links, etc., below in the description as well. Okay. Yeah. So let's start so, talking about your books. Uh, about books, uh, first of all, let's start with abilities that I have. So with abilities of psychic, you know, so the main, uh, the main thing that started actually that my guide one of my guides uh, like forced me uh, is that we write down a book with uh, 1000 new prophecies because my, one of my guides is Nostradamus. Everybody know, everybody who are in our, <laughs> in our world, they know that uh, who has been Nostradamus, like the most famous, one of the most famous uh, professors. Uh, he was also been a healer, you know, and actually, so when my son has been like approximately two, three months, uh, I got this idea like, yeah, let's do this 1,000 new predictions, prophecies for the next 20, I don't know, 50, 100 years, you know. And he's like, because later when I spoke with him, with, with Nostradamus, he's like, yeah, I was actually giving this information to you all the time, but you didn't accept it, you know. And then I started to, to write down this, and finally last year we finished this uh, book. It's like 1,000. Uh, actually, uh, the, the prophecies are... I believe that you checked, you know, it's like in the four lines, only in four lines you get like some kind of prediction for one situation, but everything is like really like in this secret way it's explained, you know, maybe people think that they will read like, yeah, I don't know, uh, Queen Elizabeth will die on this and this date and stuff like that. No, because he do not mention names, he just put this into some kind of secret stuff, you know. So this this is one of my books that uh, it's like really like uh, for me the biggest achievement that I did you know with him because it takes me really a lot of time I think like at the end it has been all together like six months of writing and uh, editing and everything you know uh, and so this book is called Millennium like Millennium means one thousand uh, so this Millennium book is available on Amazon you can get it like in this hard version. If you want, uh, like just ebook, you can contact me. Uh, I can send you the link. This is the only book where I have price. It's like twenty-five dollars. All of other my books have like this price of donation. Whatever you, whatever you feel, just send. Uh, so next, so in the next four books, actually that I will mention just titles. This is you don't need job, you just need money. How to attract your soulmate? Karma is a bitch and put your shit together these four books actually i have right now uh one girl recorded to me so i have audio books and ebooks so you can get also audio book uh, it's like approximately like half an hour each is long not so long you know so when you try you can listen so you can get audio or you can get uh, ebook no worries yeah. and then this last of my book that is for me i would say really like uh, the most uh, like excited is uh, so this as you can see flying B uh, fuzzy boozy post officer so actually how this book uh, became into life you know so as I mentioned I have a daughters and a son and my daughter she really would like to hear stories you know like these bedtime stories you know and then we start to read books you know and then we shut off the light and she's like daddy tell me some other story and I just started to tell her story about this uh, flying bee who is post officer who is delivering packages you know and I was telling these stories like each night I have to tell her at least like one story you know and she's like okay what Fuzzy Boozy did today today is Sunday he's not delivering nothing you know <laughs> okay yeah. Monday what he did yeah he delivered this and this and I was like and especially because when I start to tell her after this, I saw this shining in her eyes, you know, she was really like enjoying, you know. I said, you know what, if I put this sunshine and this really like sparkling in her eyes, I want to share these stories also with the world, you know. And so actually, actually in this book, 
in this physical book there is 13 stories you know and actually the book is more just than a book you know because it's like uh, at the beginning of each so you can see here like it's a it's a photo so kids will see the photo and then here is the the story on the next page it's actually some kind of like ideas for discussion and then you have like five ideas what you can actually wow. speak about with your kids why yeah. because this book is not only for like three four five years you can tell these stories for your 10 years old and then you discuss yeah. with them what you see and then there is actually two pages empty pages where actually your daughter or your kids can draw while they were here maybe one page they they draw like uh, uh, when they first time here and then maybe after two years when they their drawing will be much nicer they can use second one you know can so I, it's like also i think that's something that the world desperately needs right now urush and that yeah. is that connection back between family you know we yeah. the last three years of the segregation the isolation discrimination and sec and you know not being able to see our relatives, etc. We need to have that back, that unity with our family again, spending that time yeah. with our loved ones. So I'm really glad exactly. that you got those books out there. And of course, I'm going to put all your links in the bottom below in the description. Thank you. So in yeah. closing, because we're getting to the end of the video, um, yeah. what's your final message that you want to get out there today for anybody who is listening? I would say uh, if you need any kind of answers about your past, about your future, about everything, contact me or Linda because she's you're really amazing. Because when I had reading with you, I was really like blown away, you know. <laughs> so oh, definitely for you. me, for for both for both of us, was really like wow, you know. Yeah. Contact me, contact her if you need, if you want to have that books. Maybe this this last one you can also get in uh, like a e like ebook only like stories yeah. that you can read to your you know. Uh, contact me contact information will be on the below yes. uh, and we can we can we can do something together i can maybe i can give you a hand to go over some problems you know because uh, everyone have problems you know <laughs> everybody has yeah. some problems and uh, also in these books that i mentioned you will find like good information you know those books are not like long you know people think eh, it's like 150 pages no I have like most like maybe 20 pages in the world, you know, and that's it because I didn't want to to take this too long. I just want to give like this information ta -ta 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 -ta, finished, you know, yes. not like that. You just tell story, 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 stories, and then at the end you, uh, sometimes I read the book, you know, 200 pages and then I realize that I got like only one line that I came out, you know, and that was it, you yes. know, <laughs> why I need to read like whole month for only this one line, you know, uh, so yeah contact me uh, maybe also if someone else who is doing a podcast uh, can also maybe that i'm their host that maybe we can go on the next level that would be amazing also and That's also amazing. if if someone is doing like some kind of videos uh, like this animation videos because i want to put these uh, fairy tales that i have these kids i want to put like in some kind of videos uh, like that will be like some kind of cartoons Please contact me that we can arrange about this also because it will be amazing to deliver also like cartoons to the kids that they can watch this on the YouTube uh, later, maybe on television. And that will be just amazing, you know. Amazing. Well, you are doing amazing work, Euros. And I'm the first one to say congratulations on what you are doing and what you're achieving. I personally am very proud of what you're going. So, of course, I want to promote you. Hence, I've got you on my channel. So yeah. um, if anyone's watching, you do want to contact you, Ross, again, or myself, all our links are below to, to um, obtain any of you, Ross's books. Please follow his links below because, as he said, you know, it's better to go to us personally to get our books. We have, we've both got books. Come to us personally. Yeah. Email us because it's a hell of a lot cheaper and you're not paying yeah. all that commission to the big conglomerate companies. Okay. So yeah. on that note, Uros, I will let you go. Thank you so much. Anyone watching this today, if you have enjoyed it, please press the like button. Please press the subscribe button. Most of all, if you do like it and you know someone else that wants to hear this information, please share Urosh's story yeah. to them as well. 
So thank you so much and I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you. Bye.